So guys, I'm going to quickly show you guys how you can easily use PhotoP to remove your image background. Um, some of us use PhotoP only to do their 3D mockups and just mockups. But in this video, I will show you guys how you can easily remove your image background without um, the need of looking for an external application that will need you to pay for the premium versions or some of them that will require you to download some mode application. But this one, you just need to watch an ad and then your image background is removed automatically right so i'm just going to go over to the normal site to usually use which is photopea.com photopea.com and so once this loads i believe you have the opportunity of performing this very tax only after every 120 seconds right i think that is enough already so i'm just going to click on my Okay, new project. I'm gonna create a new project, and then I think I'm okay with this size. So I'm going to click on create. Right, let me increase this. Okay, so I'm going to head over to my gallery and import a picture I want to erase. So I will click on open and place to import a picture. So I'll just use any picture for this tutorial. So this this stuff you can just do it in less than. Not up to a minute actually. So, which picture am I going to use? All right. Okay, maybe I should use this one. All right, this one. But this one comes with the shadow. So I'm just going to increase this. I'm going to increase this. All right. Okay, and I'm gonna check this one. Okay, so from here, what I will just do now is to look for the um. For a two, for the reason two, the sorry, the selection two. So I'm going to use the uh, magic. Okay, so this is it right here. All right, so I was trying to long press this to get the exact selection two I want. So this is the same procedure as what we do in in Photoshop actually. If you're used to Photoshop, you know that this same thing. But I've not actually done this in Photoshop. I want to show you guys that you can actually achieve that same um stuff yourself using um photo p so i'm going to click on magic wand all right so i'm going to go over here and click on select subject all right so this will automatically select the image only the image all right to automatically select just the image as you can see the image has been selected so what i'll do now from here is to head over to my select um to my select uh, option and then i'll click on inverse all right so once i click on inverse that is um inversing means that i am to like i want to eliminate the external parts not the selected part so if i was using um my laptop i could have um click on delete after this selection but right now what i'm going to do since um the keyboard option is not here if i'm to click on this keyboard op option i will only see it here i'll control alt and shift but no other keys, all right? So I'm just going to go over to that select again, and then I'll click on magic cuts. So, once I click on this, as you can see, it, it has removed the background. Actually, this image comes with a shadow, so I think the shadow is along with it, but an image without a shadow gives you a perfect design, right? So from here, I can deselect. All right, already deselected. Okay, like I say, you'll be required to watch an ad before any further stuff is done. Okay, so you can just go ahead and watch that. It'll take you just take you a few seconds and you can skip. Same joke, same joke. Why not different? <laughs> Stop it, person. So we're done. Your image is ready. All right, as you can see, it is without a background. It's ready just forget about the shadow so from here you can save your file head over to file and then save export as whatever you want png oh, actually yeah it's png one so guys thank you for watching and um kindly support the channel by liking sharing and also subscribing for more graphic design tutorial. see you guys next time in next tutorial so i'm gonna spot as png and then we're done